Pink Poodle Crabs, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, Crafty Family, it's me. And today we are going to do some fun stuff. We are going to do some easy marble. We are going to marble like everything except for the kitchen sink. Um, yep, we're going to marble everything. I got all kinds of stuff to play with and to marble. So we're just going to get started. And I've got a ton of colors because um, Miss Evelyn sent me that um, kit. And then she sent me a crap ton of colors after that which wasn't necessary but she's sweet and i appreciate it and she really wanted me to do this video <laughs> um so that's what we are doing and i really want to do this video because i love marbling and see here's the thing from what i have seen about this easy marble kit and it's by marabou did i show the box anyway you can get this kit online it's from marabou easy marble um well, from what I can tell from the videos I've seen, it's very similar to using nail polish. It's got a very similar smell. These have, you know, a very similar smell. The, the way that you use them is very similar to using a nail polish when you marble. Because I've been doing nail polish marbling for many, many, many years. And, and I've told the story about how... I had come up with how to do uh, water marbling on your nails with nail polish back in 1996 and took it to a patent office and everything and because they wanted me to pay money, not just for the patent, but like they were like one of those places like they used to be popular back in the day. You'd see a commercial that would say, oh, if you have an invention, blah, blah, blah. So we went and met with them because I had this invention of a water marbling kit for your nails to show how to do it and everything, whatever. And then they wanted so much money to start producing it. And I didn't have that kind of money. So it just kind of fell by the wayside. But fast forward years later and several nail companies came out with, they figured it out themselves. But I was doing it long before anybody was ever doing it. Um, cause I used to do my own nails and I used to do them really long and I used to water marble them myself. Um, and I used to take it to salons and show them how to do it and show them they, they had never seen it before, never heard of it until I showed them. So anyway, that's my story on that. So I've been doing nail polish marbling for many years. And so this is extremely similar. And I always noticed that with nail polish marbling, the thinner the nail polish, the better it works. So the cheaper nail polish has actually always worked best. And this is a very thin uh, paint. It's very thin consistency, which is why it probably works. And it smell it has a similar smell to nail polish, so it's definitely got some of the properties of nail polish in it. Which you know you could probably use this on your nails, to be honest, and then use a top coat to seal it. Um, I wouldn't doubt it if that worked. Um, I don't know anybody that's tried that or haven't seen anybody try that, but I'm pretty sure that that would work. Um, I do need paper towels. That was the only thing I'm looking around to see what I did with them. Let me grab some. Hold on one second. Okay, I got paper towels. I just want to have a couple of these on hand. Um, so anyway, first things first, you need water. And if it's anything like the nail polish thing, room temperature or cold water works best. Warm water will make it um, dry quicker. So this is pretty much, I believe this is room temperature. Yeah, it's room temperature water. So I'm going to add a bunch of water to this pan. This is the only pan I really have that I didn't want to ruin. And, and you don't want to do this in a pan that, um, uh, I'm going to fill it up. I'm just going to fill it pretty much up. You don't want to do this in a pan that you're going to keep or that you care gets, you know, disgusting. Um, that you definitely don't want to do. You also need a skewer of some sort. I have one of those as well. Let me get it out. Actually, I have a band. 
ooh, skewer that'll work to like marble around the colors and um, some scrap paper or paper towel will help you get up the remainder after you've you know done your dipping of whatever it is that you're doing so basically there's several ways to do this i'm going to start with some paper i have several things to do i've got all kinds of stuff i've even got a flower that we can just do i've got a picture frame i've got fabric i've got I've got tags. I've got, I even got a wine bottle to see if I can fit it. I'm not, yeah, I can fit it in here. Um, so we're going to try that too, but we're going to start off with just some paper and I've got some like cardstock. It's like a thinner cardstock, but I figured we could play around with that and kind of get the feel for it. Um, so I'm going to pick some colors. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to shake these and so I'm, I like to, whenever I did the marbling before, because this stuff does dry fairly quickly and start to get a film on it, you want to pick out like four or five colors and you want to have them ready and open, you know, and be kind of like, kind of choose what you want to do before. So don't just open it and pour some in and then sit here and fumble around and be like, oh, I don't know what to pick next. Have the colors you want to pick ready to go. So I'm going to do purple. There's a metallic gold. We could do some of that. We can do some of this turquoise and then maybe some, maybe some yellow. And then maybe, maybe we could do white first. So I'm gonna open all of these up. So that's what you wanna do for each one. You wanna decide what colors you want. Um, first and foremost, because it's just better for you if you do. You want to get your colors ready. And they do have a smell to them, like an like an almost like a nail polishy smell. So I'm going to start with the white, and you want to just put a bunch of color down, and you'll see that it kind of forms a skin. And then I'm going to do this purple color. And then we're going to do some of this gold and then some of this turquoise and then some of this yellow. And to get it on your hands, just wipe it off. You should use gloves if you think you're going to see like there's already a skin on it. So you want to like be careful because you don't want to get that skin. Um, that skin can end up causing globs. So this is what would happen with the nail polish too. So I'm trying to get the skin away and just kind of get the color and keep the globs away. And then I'm gonna take a piece of paper and I actually like the way that looks there. I'm gonna put it here. Now while that paper's there, I might, I might actually grab this with a tag as well over here. Come on, tag. I think I thought it was two tags, like that. And then I'm going to take this stick and get away the globs. Now, this is how I would do my nails, typically, would be get the globs away because so that you don't pick them up on your paper. And look how cool that looks. Isn't that awesome? But see what I mean about the globs? You get these globs, and so that's where it gets kind of, a pain in the butt because you'll get like these little globs um, as you can see on my stick so you want to be careful about the skins that form I'm gonna lay that on the ground you want to be careful about any skins that form because like I said it will turn a little globby and then you can use a paper towel to kind of scoop out the excess which will pretty much be dry so the first color is pretty much going to dry pretty quickly that you put in and you're going to get it all over here and i would imagine nail polish remover will get this off just like it would when i use nail polish so but it's a lot of fun. It's it's a lot of fun to do this. And 
to make up, you know, all these colors and all this stuff. So I'm going to put some of these caps back on and it starts to smell. Actually, I'll keep the gold and the purple and the teal and I'll switch out the, 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 the yellow for the pink. And I'll switch out the white for another color like this kind of turquoisey color. But yeah, you want to do this in a well ventilated area because it does stink. Turquoise, pink, gold. And like I said, you don't want to do more than four or five colors max and you want to be quick about it because like I said, it will form the skin and it starts to form it pretty quickly. Like the outside layers start to get, see what I mean? Like you get that skin and I don't like it. So I'm trying to get rid of it as I go or get it out of my way and just get what I want out of it. And then I'm going to move away any of the excess paint from this so that when I pick it up, it doesn't infect the rest of the, like it doesn't glob onto the front of it. So you just want to be a little bit calculating on what you do because it's just like the nail polish. Like it's so similar. It's crazy. And that's how I would do it. Because when you pick it up, you have the chance of globbing it up and you know, you're always going to have some globs. Um, like right here. Um, but look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Very pretty. Very pretty. So, yeah, it's very similar to the nail polish thing. You can go through and pick up all the globs with, their, with your stick. It'll kind of form around it like a cotton candy kind of sticks to itself. And you can just wipe it off the majority of your stick. All right. So that's the basics of it. That's how you do it. Um, it's a lot of fun. So let's do some more fun colors. Trying to shake it as carefully as possible. Get out some more colors. Let's see. Let's... Trying to keep track of the lids. And then we got silver too. So we can do a little black. You just want to be prepared and you can layer the colors a little bit. Just like I said, as long as you're quick about it, where's this color Oh, right there, as long as you're quick about it and you don't use a, a massive amount of colors, let's try a piece of watercolor paper. Let's do a piece of watercolor paper. We will do some of this color, some turquoise, some gold, some silver and some of this purple. So those colors there. And then we'll put this in like that. And now I'm going to get myself a, a towel or a thing. And like I said, I'm going to scrape away the rest of the paint. So when I pick it up, it doesn't flop onto the front of mine, which is what generally would happen. I'm just going to clear it away. You don't even have to get it all up. As long as you clear it away from the front, you'll have less chance of like globs. But that one came out really cool. 
it's hard to see on the camera, but it, it, there, you can see the gold in here. All this is like in here with the gold. So the gold shows up. It just doesn't show up on camera really well. Very nice. So you can use any kind of paper. You can pretty much use anything um, you want to use. Keep in mind your fingers are going to get gross, but I'm sure you can use a little acetate, you know, fingernail polish remover to get that out of your fingers. But my goodness, it's a lot of fun. And it's a great way to do water marbling without having to like use any kind of sizing or whatever it is. Not sizing. What is that stuff called? Oh. It's stuff that, you know, typical, and I want to do that. I want to get that kind, I want to do that kind of water marbling. I've never done it before. Um, I'm dying to do that, but, you know, this was the closest that I've found for me. Um, paper towels here. So this is a lot of fun. So why don't we do something like a piece of fabric? So I've got this like fabric lace and I figure we could take a few pieces of it and do something cool with it like pieces like that size and just make some cool let's see what happens when we do that let's add colors let's see and i'll do some yellow too to make sure this is shaking but this stuff does stink quite a bit so you want to definitely use it in a Definitely well ventilated area for sure. Because even just sitting in the bottles, whoo, it's stinky. Stinky. All right, let's start with some yellow. And then put in some turquoise or teal. And then turquoise. And then purple. And then gold. And just sprinkle that around. And then whatever this is, sprinkle that around. I'm just going crazy. Put some silver in, sprinkle that around. And now we'll do some... And usually the first color causes the skin so that after that you can kind of... As long as you stay away from that outside first color, you can usually do pretty well. Um, I'm going to put this in right like that. Now, see, if I lift this up, that whole skin's going to come with it and glob the entire thing. So I'm just making sure it makes good contact. And then I'm going to go and un unmove this from the skin so that it doesn't pick up all that skin and f glob it onto the front of my, my piece. So I'm going to move it all away and wipe it off on my paper towel and just kind of get it away. Because your, your piece will float pretty well, you know. And then just get it away because I don't want the globs, so I want to do what I can to avoid that happening. And here's what you got. Look how cool that one came out really good. Very cool. That is really cool. I'm going to put it on the floor. I have a plastic thing under my chair. So, so then you could just go in again and, you know, pick up or move to the side and it'll pretty much start sticking to the side of your pan that's why I said don't use a pan that you care about because yeah you're not gonna like that I'm gonna wring out the water but still pick up some of the grossness And you're going to get it all over your hands if you don't use gloves, but guess who doesn't care? I don't care. <laughs> all right, I'm going to turn on my fan just so I don't have to smell this. Hold on. I'm going to move that over there. Okay. All right, so fabric works really well. We can do another piece of fabric. That would be cool. Cool! It's a lot of fun to do. Let's do some light blues and dark blues. We'll start with, so like the first color is going to be like your skin. And then everything inside of that will um, will stay a little bit less, what do you call it, a less skin-like. And uh, you'll probably 
be able to wiggle it around if you don't touch the outside piece. You see what I'm saying? Like just if you know, don't like in other words, your first piece, I mean your first color is your is your yuck color that you don't even think about. And then you take your piece and put it in and you make sure it taps. You get the whole surface and then you want to clear it. This is where you clear it. This is what I would do when I did my nails too. I clear I would clear it away from the nail. Obviously, I wouldn't use such a big container, so this is a little bit harder to do. But it's worth it because you don't get the glob. Because all it'll do is if you pick this up, all this is going to come with it and stick right to the front. So you just want to clear it away so that you don't... So you get a clean piece like this where it's nice and no globs and... Nice. Ooh, and the gold really likes to show up on the fabric. Like, it looks really metallic on the fabric. So, you just want to let it dry. I'm going to put this down here. And so the fabric works nice. I've got other fabric as well. So let me clean off my clumpy stick. Kind of reminds me of that stuff. Remember that stuff that you would get in the tube? And you would blow it up with the straw. You would put it at the end of your put it at the end of the straw and then blow it up when you were a kid. They probably still sell it in like dollar stores. But yeah, you just want to go around and skim this off. All you do is just tap it down onto the little bits that are floating, which you probably can't see, but I can. And it'll pick up all of it and then you can just dump it in the garbage. And then if you further want to clean it, you can just do like that. Or push it over to the side and then scoop it up kind of but you don't want too many of the globs sitting in your water because then it'll likely get on everything else you do and we don't want that we don't want it on everything we do okay Wow, Evelyn sent me like every damn color. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I don't even didn't even realize they would have this many colors. Let's see. I'm gonna use some reds. Alright, I'm making a mess and I don't even know which colors go with what. I just want to keep the caps near each other. They don't say what they are. Oh, that's going to be an issue. All right, so we'll do the first color white since I'm not going to worry about the white too much, but I'll add more white into it. We'll do some white, we'll do some yellow, we'll do a little gold here, a little gold there, some purple. And what's nice is the colors don't mix. So if you put colors in, you don't have to worry about, oh, well, they're not going to go together. They're not going to look good because it doesn't work that way with these. I'm like going crazy now. They just push each other out of the way. It's kind of like the nail polish in that way that the nail polish, um, I had a piece of fabric sitting here. Okay, I do. My stick, where's my stick? There's my stick. Cause you don't want to wait too long for it to get a chance to like form a skin, which mine kind of started to. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna lay this fabric in here. Let it sit. Make sure it's got a seal. And it'll, you'll notice that it'll move like a island. <laughs> like the whole top will be so skimmy. It'll skinny. It'll make like a skin that the whole thing like will move together. All the colors moving with it kind of forms this like island. You just got to clear it away so you don't end up with gloppity glops on your whatever you put in. 
I would definitely suggest to start small. So start like, start with small pieces of paper or whatnot, and then move on to larger things like full size sheets of paper or what have you. Very cool. Look at that. Is that not stinking awesome? Oh my goodness, it's so freaking cool. Let me get this one piece of fabric strand out of there. But yeah, it's very cool. Very, very cool. Love it. Love it. Oh my god. And then just go around cleaning up any glops. I'm using the paper towel to do it. Some people use a piece of paper, you can do that too. Like, like this. I'm just picking up like a piece of paper that you have and just go like this. And kind of put it to the side and pick it up. That probably works better, probably. And kind of trap it like a net. <laughs> okay, what else we got? I have some pieces of wood. These are like raw pieces of wood. And I have them in different sizes. And these two will float, so... So let's just do some spinning around, trying not to grab too much of the outside and stick to the inner parts. And this will just go one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that all I have? Yeah, but I can take a tag and Put this right here, like that. So now again, to avoid issue, each one of these, like either you could push it down, move it over. I need another stick or something to skim this out of the way. And like that, and then get it out. Oh, that looks cool. So that's what you could do. If it's something like that, you could push it all the way down. You're not going to hurt it if it hits the bottom. Ugh. And then when it floats back up, you could do that with this, but I wouldn't do that with paper. But I would with this, just because you just need to move it out of the way of the, the rest of the skin that I call it. Just move it down and out of the way and then pick it up just so you don't contaminate. And then this. See, like I got this glob right here because I picked it up and it was on the front. So, but otherwise, look how cool that is. That's a cool background for a, you know, for a tag. That's really cool. All right, and then I got my globby stick, which you can pretty much wipe off. And then I got my paper that I can use and abuse and throw away. Fun. Now, I don't know if this type of stuff is something you want to do with the kids. Maybe outside if you do it outside, but inside, like I said, it's kind of stinky. So I wouldn't be like, hey kids, let's go sit in the craft room with all the doors and windows shut. <laughs> Look how cool. And this one. I don't know what you do with these afterwards is 
completely up to you. I don't know, you can make them into little necklaces, like the little ones. Like this would make a really cool pendant. Um, really cool. So, do anything. Let's do, let's, let's do this picture frame. Let's make this picture frame look cool. Why not? I'll start with some white. We'll do some gold and some of that color there and some of this purple here and some pink and some of this purple, some blue, some more white, some more gold. We need a lot because this frame is kind of big. Some silver, some more pink, and whatever this is, black. Yeah, sure, we'll add a little black to it. All right, so we're going to. Now, this frame is going to be, I don't know if it's going to float or not. So, my prediction is that it might not float. So, I'm going to just kind of, I'm going to just plop it in. And if it hits the ground, it hits the bottom, that's fine. Nope, it's floating. Okay, so since it's floating, now I'm going to attempt to get out the rest of this. And actually, what you can do is take pieces of paper and go around it like this to get, and you can also get your color out and keep it and use it like that and just not waste the color, but still you know, why not? It'll make a cool collage piece, if nothing else. But it'll also get the color away from your thing. You might end up with globs, but who cares? It might look cool looking. See that? So you can use a piece of paper to, like, be your <laughs> glob catcher. And also make some cool things like that. So you don't waste anything. So you can do that and then take the rest and kind of squidge around with it and move it out of the way of any potential harm. But I will say, look at that. It went from being plain and ugly to cool. Isn't that cool? Very cool. And it's got the metallic from the gold is really pretty. This part over here got a little blob, but that's okay. We can cover it with something. Isn't that cool? That is so freaking cool. I love it. All right, I'm going to put that down to dry. I'm going to clean up this mess. So you get the point. This is a lot of fun. I'm going to use another piece of paper like this. Okay, we can use that a couple times. All right, very cool. You can also, let's do a flower, and I'm sure there'll be some more spots to fill. So I'm going to try to open this thing dominoes and take some of these dominoes and put them in too. Which, let's see if these will, these are going to sink. So I didn't know if they would float or sink. So these are going to sink. So we're just going to drop them in. And hopefully they do okay. The bottom is really dirty though. I'm wondering if I should take that paper and maybe try to clear the bottom a little bit. Because if they hit the bottom, I'm afraid they're going to hit the bottom and pick up all that squidgy mess on the bottom. And I don't really want that, the dominoes to hit the bottom and do that. So I'm just kind of just getting it so it's all, I don't care if it smears it as long as it like isn't a blob at the bottom. There we go. 
this is messy you definitely want to do this in an area of your house where you don't obviously like your craft room <laughs> or somewhere that you're used to getting mess you don't want to like just do this on your dining room table without any coverage because <laughs> that would suck because yeah it would suck i promise you're gonna make a mess all right so let's plop a whole bunch of colors into this and see what we get we'll start with we'll just start with some silver on the outside which you can barely see some blue some more blue purple teal gold a little bit of white a little bit of turquoise a little bit of pink and a little more gold and let's do our stick and move it around without touching the outside too much okay good enough let's stick our flower in there and let it sit it's probably going to sink once it gets wet and then we'll just start dropping dominoes in and we're just going to drop them in and let them hit the bottom it's going to drop and what it's going to do is it's going to along as it goes down it's going to take color with it and the back is going to get really cool looking Ooh, unless you get crap all over it and then that's not going to happen that one went in a little crooked take a few more dominoes right there and right there okay that's good enough now I'm gonna take my stick and kind of as you can see the skin pulling away and I'm just gonna grab as much of it as I can kind of like twirling cotton candy and this is exactly how the nail polish acts too by the way so if you do the nail polish marbling it will act just like this. All right, so let's clear this. I think when it dries, you'll be able to see it better, but look how cool that looks. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm gonna lay that there. Now we're clear to grab our dominoes, which some of them stuck to each other, but look how cool. And there's gold metallic. It's so cool looking. These are really cool. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How cool. I love it. Look at that one. So I advise you to grab some dominoes or anything else you got for that matter. You can make some cool domino pendants. Look at that. I'm trying to find a place to put them. If you don't know what to do with all the dominoes that you got lying around, well, there you go. Domino pendants. Easy peasy. There's a blob on there, and I'm wondering. That's better. Sometimes you can't help the globs. See, and you can put other things on there so that if you do have a spot, like a clear spot that didn't pick up the, the paint, you can just, you can just put something on the pendant. You know, if you make it into a pendant, you can put something on it so that it will, but the flower looks cool. It's like a tie dyed flower. Very cool. See how much fun it is? So much fun. Okay, I also have something else I want to do um, that I'm hoping I'll be able to do successfully. I have a pair of sunglasses that I took the lenses out of so that I can marble these. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to get it on the whole thing, but I'm not sure, so we're gonna try. And hopefully this works. So I'm going to start with a bunch of paint and hopefully we can finish by having a cool pair of sunglasses with lots of 
cool colors. And I don't know, we'll see. If I can't do it all in one shot, I'm not too worried about it. I can do it in a couple of different um, attempts. I could do like the, the arms of it, the, the sides that go over your ears part. I could do that in like another go and just worry about the, the front part first. So we'll just see how it kind of goes. I'm just kind of moving the paint. I keep wanting to call it nail polish. All right. So I'm going to kind of go in here like this. And then, you know what? I'm going to have to leave it like that and then do the things later. So I'm going to do more of these. I'm going to do some more of the dominoes. Oops, it landed on my glasses. Because I feel like I'm going to ruin them if I try to get them out and do anything different. Okay, so now I'm going to try to get this out and escape my glasses. From the skin. It's the skin. Because I feel like. Do they look cool or do they look stupid? Huh. Hold still a second. Yeah, like some of it got globbed on. But I think overall it looks pretty dang cool. I just have to make sure there's no globs where the the lenses go back in. As long as it's fairly smooth, it's fine. But look. Now I'm going to do the arms. Hmm. Alright, let me put that down a minute. And clean this up and then I'm going to do the arms separate because yeah it was hard to move it around I didn't want to get globs all over it look at that giant glob on there huh. oh my goodness holy moly I'm going to the movies in a couple hours and my hands are atrocious. But, oh, look at that cool domino. Oh my goodness, some of these are so cool. Oh, they're so cool. Ooh, that one came out neat. This batch came out really cool. Very cool. I hope you guys will try this because it's really easy. And that oh, one's very gold, sparkly. Um, very easy and very fun and worth it. It does smell, so you want to keep that in mind. Do it in a well-ventilated vent area or go outside because it definitely smells. And I don't usually say that very often. Um, I'm not one to be, like, worried about smells, but I will say this stinks. So definitely want to go outside. Do it on a nice day. Go out. Do it on your deck or something. You won't notice the smell if you're outside as much. Okay, let's see. Last but not least, I want to do my bottle. I'm probably only going to be able to do one side of the bottle because I don't think it's going to submerge itself all the way down. The only thing I can try to do is maybe add more water 
and see, but it'll still look cool even if I just do one side of the bottle. So I don't care. I think it'll pr look really cool. It'll be a, a touchy way, a touchy thing to do, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to give it the old college try and hope that the, it comes out looking cool. I mean, that's all you can do is hope that it'll come out looking cool. I wish they had other pink colors, but I guess this is the only, that was the only pink they had maybe. I don't know. But because Evelyn told me that she didn't see any other pinks, which was weird because you would think they have quite a few purples and stuff, but not many pinks, which is just weird. All right, I had to put a lot in because we're doing a big area and I'm not gonna, gonna be kind of careful about wiggling it because I don't want to cause too many globs, but all right, so here we go. I'm just gonna put it in like this and hope for the best. Now, I don't know how to get this away without causing a problem, so we could maybe take a piece of paper and do that and hope that we get some cool color on it maybe and then try to get the other side maybe and do that that looks cool and then just try to get this away from the rest of the bottle as much as possible so I have a way to get it out to escape so I can do the other side maybe don't want anything connected to it so you know I got water in it so we'll empty that out I didn't have a lid to put on it so <gasps> but look how cool that looks oh it looks so cool look at that we're gonna do the other side but that is stinking cool oh my god so cool let me move that out of the way, set that down, and try to clean this up. This is so much fun. I told you we're going to do everything but the kitchen sink. Bottles and pieces of wood and dominoes and paper and fabric and lace and whatever. And I advise you to do the same thing. You might as well. You know? Oh, let me see. Is this piece yeah, round? You know, give it a try. I'm sure you have some old things lying around that you're like, oh, I would have thrown it away. But whether it's just a bottle or whatever. And obviously it come, the package comes, the starter kit comes with like plenty of colors. But if you didn't want the colors that came in the starter kit, the starter kit wasn't anything other than a booklet of instructions, which wasn't very much. It was exactly what I just told you. And then like six colors. So if you want different colors, then buy the colors individually. Don't get the starter kit. Like if you don't want the typical red and black and white and yellow, like you could buy them separately and um, get whatever colors you want. You know what I mean? If those aren't the colors you want. Oh yeah, I didn't do the arms of the glasses either. We need to do that. I forgot all about it. I was letting them dry over here. But the glasses look cool, don't they? They're groovy. So we need to do the bottle and the arms of the glasses. I might be able to do both. Let's find out. Let's put some of that in. Some of this in. Some white. Some of that color. Some of that color. Oh, we need the gold. How about some silver? Definitely some pink. Um, definitely whatever this color is, more purple. Um, ooh, we got this color purple. Didn't even add that color in yet. And some more of that. Okay, that's enough. Where's my stick? I got my stick. 
Gotta be careful. Okay. Bottle, let's see. Can we get you in here for a second spin? I got a glob on there. I pulled it up. But I just didn't feel like doing the whole thing. But that's what happens sometimes. You got to be careful. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> and then you make a splash. And you get it everywhere. Oh, well. <laughs> a little splashing never hurt anybody. <laughs> hey, at least it, it, uh, cleared the way for my bottle <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> leave it to me my arthritis was like nope you ain't lifting that up you ain't holding that for any longer well anyway we got that out of the way next i can use this to help me clear up what's left but as you can see i don't know if you can see around the sides like you get such a build up around the sides which is why you don't want to use something that you care about <laughs> to do this all right sunglass arms that'll be the last thing we do is the rest of the sunglass arms so we're going to put some of this in i'm going to put some of this in we're going to put some gold in. And we're going to put some of this color. I'm going to put some this color. Some more gold. These bottles get to be quite messy. And some pink. And some more gold. And of this all right all right let's see what i can do with these sunglass arms i'm wondering if i can get them both in if i do it like this but i don't know because they're going to touch i'm not sure i can do that i don't know i better just do them one at a time and just Maybe dip them in and try to pull them over here. My stick. Please give me my stick. Please give me my stick. And then maybe get the other one in like this. And get this out of the way. Oh, there we go. I did it. All right, let's set that aside a minute because now I've got plenty of paint in here to do some more dominoes or let me get a piece of paper. I want to do a piece of paper right here. Like so. And then if I want to do a domino, I can take one and put it down there. And let's see, take one and put it right there. And then we will, my hands are a mess. I'm going to have to like acetate, acetone. What is it? Acetate, acetone, acetone. Nail polish remover my hands a little bit. This is so much fun though. Look at that, how pretty. See, the only problem is I got some globs. that is oh my goodness it's so pretty oh my hands are disgusting hands are disgusting but i've got some really pretty things out of this batch of stuff i'm loving these dominoes so yeah so that's all i'm gonna do for this video because holy moly I've, i'm gonna be overtaken by fumes if i do much more because it does stink and I need to clean my hands off because I am going to the movies in a couple hours. So, yeah, we don't want to be 
I don't want to be eating popcorn with this on my hands necessarily. But I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope that it, you will give it a try because when I looked up how much this kit was and all that stuff, it's very affordable. It's not expensive. I think it was under 20 bucks for the starter kit or you could just buy, like I said, you don't need anything special so you can get whatever colors you want and kind of just go from there and get, you know, your own colors and just start marbling. I mean, all you need is some water. Get one of these pans for 99 cents at the grocery store. And uh, yeah, you'll be good to go. So yeah, I'll take pictures and put them in the Pink Poodle Pack Creative Crafty Playground Facebook group um, of all the creations I made. Um, so that you can see them because they're still drying and I'm not going to like go crazy trying to hold them all up now while they're drying. So yeah, as I sit here and clean off these and try to get the lids back on, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will give it a try. I really, really like doing it. It, it, it dries to like a smooth finish where you can't even tell that it's not you see what I mean? Like it's, it doesn't even look like it's been painted. So it's really cool how it looks. And I don't know whether you're supposed to like put a varnish or a finish on these. I don't know. Um, that I don't really know. But I imagine there's, you can go online and find out. You could pro if you wanted them to be glossy, I guess you could put like a glossy finish on them. Ooh, I got my sleeve in it. But like that one came out really cool. But yeah, these are just so cool. I mean, so much fun. Here's that cleanup paper that I did. So that would be cool even just for collaging, you know. And then what else? We got the fabric down here, which is still drying. But look how cool. And my glasses, of course, which need to dry, but are stinking cool. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will give it a try. And please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, um, let me just mention this while I'm cleaning up. If you uh, wanted to support my channel and also get live classes and be a part of the secret Facebook group that we have for my Patreons. There's a link in the description. Ow, I just hurt my finger. Oh, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up to be one of my Patreons. Um, and if you look below the video, you'll see where it'll say show more and you click on that. It'll open up all the links. And you can find links to my Etsy store, which I have all kinds of fun, you know, very inexpensive products, uh, stamps, stencils, all kinds of stuff in there. So check that out below. And also, um, yeah, I, I pride myself on having very low prices on things. So you'll be surprised if you click on that link on how cheap you can get a bunch of stamps and stencils and stuff. And then also my Patreon link will be below and you could support me on Patreon and when I reach the $500 mark, which I'm very close to, I'm going to do a, uh, an ice cream party for my baby dogs, my poodles. Um, I'm going to do a cool ice cream party for them. So, and I will live stream it. It'll only be for my Patreon folks who support my channel. So, um, hopefully if you're interested, um, becoming one of my Patreons and supporting my channel, definitely check out that link below and for just five dollars a month you can support my channel and be a part of the secret group and get um be put in drawings to be part of the classes that we do every month if you're one of the ten dollar a month people you get something sent to you every month plus you get to be in a class every three months you get to be in a live uh, craft class. We do all kinds of things. And in the group that I was talking about, we choose what we want to do in that class. I'll put up a poll and say, do you want to do this, 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 or this, or whatever. And then you guys choose and decide what you want the class to be about. And then we do the class. And if you are a $15 a month Patreon, you get all kinds of goodies sent to you. You get obviously access to the group 
and you get a class every two months. And if you're $25 a month, you get a class every month. You get a class every month. There's also giveaways that I do. There's downloadables. There's all kinds of stuff. And that's just even for the $5 a month people. So I would check it out. It's a lot of fun. We have a really good group of people in the secret group that are a ton of fun. We do swaps. And that's like, like I said, even just the $5 a month people can be in the group, join in the swaps join, you know, join in the giveaways and all the, all the fun stuff. So definitely check that out. The link, like I said, is in the description. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and share it if you want somebody to see it and you think it was pretty cool. I just think these came out so cool. So anyway, have a great day, everybody. And thanks for watching my video. Make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. And I will talk to you later. Bye.